Okay, so today's tour takes us to... Um, let's go to the Mantra's headquarters. Oh, my throat might be acting up a little bit. Oh, it's you. What a surprise. It's been a while since we last met, young man. Or should I say, demi-fiend? Frankly, it never crossed my mind before. But it seems we were destined to meet again. I accumulated enough Magatsui for creation when I destroyed the mantra. That's why I didn't stop you from going to the obelisk. I also wanted to verify that you were truly the Demi-Fiend. However, not only did you defeat my subordinates, but you single-handedly set the Maiden free. The strength of the Demi-Fiend is written in the scripture of Miroku. It was beyond my expectations. You might be able to aid me in delivering Chijima to the world. A man's greed is like fire. While it is small, it's warm and is com uncomfortable. But fire eventually grows into flames, devouring everything in its path. Mankind grew to covet fire. Humans became dependent on its warmth and averted their eyes from its destructive nature. Humans should serve the world. By doing so, a life of repose would in turn be promised to them. What is desirable, what is undesirable. It is not man that makes the distinction, it is the world. Humans should be beacons that light the world. The light spins quietly, sometimes bright, sometimes dim, becoming one with the world. That is the ideal way of life. Don't you agree that the world should be ruled by serenity? So I am pretty much at the point in the game where I have made some... Well, all my answers have been somewhat spontaneous, so... Okay. So I'm not sure if my choices even matter anymore. And yes, please note that I'm not actually going for a particular ending. In since and I don't really have an idea of when I have I have to make some uh, impacting decisions. Okay, I guess the Mantra's headquarters will be the next place to progress the main storyline. Can't really tell how things are going to end, but now there's at least three people who have their different reasons to change the world into their liking.
And I can't make a choice. It seems like the game is kind of trying to tell me that I need to make a choice. Anyway, I heard an NPC saying some time ago that if you go to Jin Ginza or uh, uh, Shibuya, I think, if you went to the clubs, you could gain you could gain some information. So let's see if they have anything else to say besides what uh, Mikawa actually told me. I think this is the shop where I wanted to go to. Yeah, see, now I can actually exchange uh, gems for Mitamas. Huh. Oh, I think I... I think I mixed these up with Magatamas. There's, these are just demons. But... Hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure that I haven't been able to get these before. Now, either way, I'm not sure what to use these for. I assume that you can... If you buy them, you can fuse them into some powerful demons. I might try that later. Once I have to... Uh, once I've ex explored everything and... Uh, can pretty much conclude that the only thing left to do is to, well, progress the main storyline. There's nothing else here I want to buy. No. Okay. <clears throat> the mannequins went to Asakusa here. With Fitomimi as her leader, she doesn't have anything useful to say. In case that wasn't intended to be helpful, it was very subtle. Yeah, I'm headed back. Oh wait, that was the wrong door. Okay, since I can't figure anything else to do right now, we are actually going for the White Rider, which I died to uh, before. Now I think I have a better lineup um, so that I should be able to handle his attacks. Or at the very least, his light arrow attack. Kind of looking for which de which uh, demons do I have, which are okay. So I have a few which can, which are immune to uh, expel based attacks. And I should be able to handle everything else. And if I remember correctly, the uh, the virtues he has with him, they're weak to force-based attacks, so I should be able to handle those without problems. But yes, of course, as usual, before we move on with this main storyline. I'll um, uh, I'll make sure to fuse some more demons since I have twelve demon slots now. I only have ten demons, and I'm kind of at stage where I don't have that many good demons on me right now. Like the new is taking up space. And the others, well, not all of them are very good at attacking. And I seem to, I still seem to have this knack for uh, 
um, using support based demons a lot while throwing in some utility damage spells. Anyway, we're heading down to talk to the White Rider. What's up, Noki? Find anything interesting? I heard you can't get inside Mandra's headquarters right now. The mannequins are worried. Former members of Mantra could be involved, but most likely they wouldn't try anything without a leader. Okay, so I can't actually go inside. Which reminds me, lately I've heard talk about Futumimi. Maybe those mannequins are up to something them themselves. Okay, so we're back from the labyrinth. And now I'm just going to save before fighting White Rider. That spike on the back of his neck still bothers me. Or, no, wait, that's his hair, right? Or is that because he... Never mind. I, I, I always thought it was his hair, but... Now that I look at it more closely, it kind of looks like it's not. Oh, well. It's not important. Goodbye. As you can see, I'm I'm sticking to my general strategy here. Now, by killing off these uh, angels, I am depriving White Rider of his turn icons, so he can't really do much. Kind of annoying that he's dispelling my buffs, though. But then again. I think that means that he won't actually uh, use the light arrow attack, I think. It kind of depends on what the AI chooses to do. Now we're just gonna have to see how this this turns out. <laughs> 